Hey everyone, this is Kramon and today we'll be talking about the new monsters that Summoner's War has released right here. It is called the Omnugia and also the Onimusha and I'll be talking about it in detail, alright? But first, this video is sponsored by Huawei App Gallery. If you guys did not know, there is a new app store out there called the Huawei App Gallery itself. You can download it from any Android phone or even use the Bluestacks emulator on your computer. So since the Summoner's War community is going on in their store, they are launching this very, very good offer, which is a 20% cashback with virtual currency called Huawei Points. These points are used across the app gallery itself, and you can make in-app purchases across any apps with them. One point is equivalent to one pound or a euro, whichever currency you purchase with. So for example, if you spend 30 pounds right here, you'll be able to claim six pounds worth in points, and then use the six pounds to make another purchase. So let's say if you buy another 30 pounds pack after that, it only means you spend 24 pounds. Countries where offer is active is in the UK, Ireland, and New Zealand. And all you have to do is head over to the settings page in the Huawei app gallery itself and change the country to those for you to enjoy these offers. However, offer is valid until the 10th of March, 2021. So please make sure to get all your discounted packs right here. Additionally, they are running a coupon offer where you can claim three types of coupons worth £7, £12 and £25 discount. And it is only valid on purchases of £28.99, £48.99 and £99.99 respectively. These coupons can be claimed from the campaign page and you'll be able to redeem it with qualifying purchases on checkout. So one thing to note that since New Zealand's currency is the best value here, the coupon values for the $49.99 pack is 12 New Zealand dollars discount. For the 120 New Zealand dollars pack, you'll be getting 30 New Zealand dollars discount. And lastly, for the 170 event pack, you'll be getting 50 New Zealand dollars discount there, right? I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to claim the 20% points back on the Huawei App Gallery here for Summoner's War. So after you download the Huawei App Gallery, head over to me and under settings, okay, you'll be seeing this country slash region. Please change it to the UK, Ireland or New Zealand. So for New Zealand, it is the best localized price in game. However, for UK, you'll be able to use the mixed payment method. So part Huawei points and part cash and yeah i'm just gonna use the uk and after that go to the search button here and type in summoners war where you need to download the game from it and yeah uh, as you can see there i already downloaded it so you'll be seeing this open page if you haven't yet then you'll be seeing the download link right there so after you download it head over to the campaign page right here and you'll be able to see this page summoners war 20 percent points back and claim your coupon in app gallery so all you have to do to claim the coupons is just to click on them and whenever you're buying those packs worth a certain amount, you'll be able to use those discounts. Additionally, you get the 20% Huawei points as well, which I already mentioned. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys right now. So after you've done all those steps right there, head over to the Summoner's World where you downloaded it from the Huawei app gallery. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to claim the 20% points back. And yeah, I'm just gonna be redirected to the Huawei in-app purchases here and yeah, just gonna buy it. Five pounds. Okay, so yeah, payment complete and you'll be seeing this words right here, reward one Huawei points. Make sure you claim it from here and there you go, very simple. So with these points, like I said once again, you'll be able to make any in-app purchases across any apps with them. Even if you want to buy any other apps or even Summoner's War packs itself, you'll be able to use them. And for the UK, you'll be able to use the part points and part cash payment term. So thank you once again Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring this video. So please make sure to download the Summoner's War from the Huawei App Gallery itself and enjoy the 20% points back. Let's continue on talking about the new monsters. And now we'll be talking in depth about the skill sets that both of these monsters has. The Omnuji first uh, is the five star unit, so it's gonna be pretty hard to get. For the fire one, it's called Tomo after she awakens. All the first skills are the same Burning Soul, attacks the enemy and removes one beneficial effect with a 50% chance. 
the second skill karma is the one it's gonna be very unique because this skill set basically you just target on somebody and if that target wants to use a skill they will be s sacrificing 50% of their health which is very strong in siege offense pairing it up with a molong or even an Icarus Arnold and for RTA wise it's always good to place it on units like Okeanos, Gany, Sierra where they always use their skills so it all depends whether they want to sacrifice their health after that and most likely will increase your chance of winning as well so Yin Yang Bounded Circle here the third skill attacks all enemies to increase the duration of harmful effects granted on them by one turn each absorbs the attack bar by 10% for each turn of the harmful effects on the target so that one is actually really hard to to combo with because firstly you need a stripper if they are playing immunity on their side after that probably going with a, with a Rika or even Sierra Malaka kind of thing and after that only then your fire on Nuji so it's gonna be very hard to synergize that third skill but the second skill is very strong for the water one though Past life spell, the second skill, summons the soul of the dead ally and uses the skill once. At this time, the target's passive skill won't be applied. So basically, you're just bringing back somebody in your team if they are dead. And you'll be able to use one of their skills on random. If let's say it's a Sierra, Sierra will try to place a bomb and then she will die after that. <laughs> um, for the win one, it's also the same, the karma with a very good passive, recovers the attack bar by 25% if the enemy uses a skill with cooldown time, the cooldown time of Kama resets. This one is very huge, alright? And this one is definitely a very good unit in Siege Offense. And now we'll be talking about the light one. It's called Seimei. <laughs> in Cantonese, it translates to die already. So it's a little bit funny with the name here. The second skill, past life spell, still the same as the water one. Very good. Yin Yang 5 Elements, the passive, limits the number of turns of harmful effects on allies and beneficial effects on enemies to one turn. Bombs or skills used by bosses are excluded. For the dark one, Doman, this one is super strong. One of my guildmates already got this one, so I'll be doing a showcase in the next video or so if he allows me to do it. Alright, Curse of Death. Grants the Curse of Death until the enemy target excluding the boss that cannot be removed to reduce the target's HP by 25% each. For 4 turns, alright? This effect cannot be applied or to, to 2 or more at the same time and the effect disappears when the caster dies. So as long as she's super tanky, she just places this curse of death on somebody. In 4 turns, that person is definitely dead. <laughs> alright? So very strong skill sets right there. As long as she can sustain herself. Alright? So you need a decent um, pairings, maybe like a healer, Triana or even Huadam in the team. So Onimusha here, which is the 4 star. This is Kaki. I feel like Kaki is the strongest one. I actually made one to 6 star already. And it's... All these net force are counter to Miho because they can't crit. Basically the passives make them don't crit. So standard stuff, the Ghost Slash, attack enemy twice, recovering HP by 30%, so uh, self vampire and decreasing the target's defense for 2 turns. Blade Slaughter, as long as he kills somebody attacking everyone, if, he, if an enemy gets defeated right there, he gets the Endure effect. And for the 4 stall passive, increases your defense by 50% of your attack power when the battle begins, and inflicts additional damage proportional to your defense when you attack on your turn. That's why this one is very tricky to build, where you need some HP and attack as well. And you'll be actually pretty tanky because your defense increased by 50% of your attack power. And it actually hits hard, guys. I've already tested it. <laughs> and hopefully it's actually decent. I'll try to bring it into the Siege Tournament. Probably one of the offense, alright? Next, we'll talk about Suki, which is the Water Onimusha. The first skill, all the same. Goes well done. The second skill, attack all enemies twice and recovers HP by 30% of inflicted damage. So this one, maybe you run like a Despair, it might be actually good, so you get lifesteal as well. Increases the attack power by 10% each, up to 250%. It's gonna take some time, but yeah. 
I feel it's actually decent because whenever monsters moves except yourself get a turn, you increase by 10%. And you know, people always get violent procs. <laughs> this unit might come in handy for siege offense, alright? Critical hits won't occur when attacking the enemy as well. For the win one, Fuki. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they're coming up with all these names. Actually really funny. And yeah. First skill, the same. Blade Slaughter here, the second skill attacks all enemies and grants endure effect on yourself for one turn if an enemy gets defeated, same as the fire one. But honestly, the fire one is the better one because of the base speed, alright guys? It is 115, one of the highest base speed units in the game. If you don't compare to like Adna and stuff like that, right? So. Calculated Sacrifice the passive decreases your current HP by 20% at the start of each turn and inflicts additional damage by 20% of the lost HP when you attack on your turn. Huh. This one is very dangerous actually. The Fuki. <laughs> because, yeah, you'll be doing a lot of damage but you're taking 20% health down every time. That's the reason why you need the life steal maybe. I think Vampire is actually decent on this unit. I'll just talk briefly about the light and dark counterparts right here because most of the time you won't get these units. <laughs> so the light one is called Kinky, uh, Ghost Slash, the same thing, Blade Slaughter, same thing as Kaki and Fuki. <laughs> so banging hit against a brick wall. Counter attacks the target if the damage you receive from the enemy is less than 25% of your max HP. Uh, this one is pretty hard. Maybe if you run triple HP build, I think it's decent. But yeah, maybe you need to run like a despair on it. So you get like life steal and despair stuns. And lastly, we'll be talking about the dark one here, which is called Ong Yuki. This one is like the master race of the Oni Mushas, right? It's so strong, the passive. So you have two skills, which life steals. And you also have a default armor break on the first skill. The indomitable passive critical hits won't occur when attacking the enemy, but the damage is increased by 50%. You won't die under inability effect, so whenever you get stunned or frozen, people can't kill you, and when you and when it's your turn, you remove everything, and your damage is increased by 50% additionally on that turn. So 100% extra attack as long as you can sustain yourself with all these life steals on their first and second skill. This unit is gonna be so hard to deal with. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and most likely I'll be doing a showcase on Doman, the Dark Omnuji, because one of my guildmates already got it earlier. <laughs> so congratulations to him. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to play with the unit because it's gonna be so strong. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well and follow my socials guys. Also, please make sure to download the Huawei App Gallery and download the Summoner's War from it to enjoy the 20% points back and also the coupons provided by Huawei App Gallery. Please take care and stay safe. I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Peace.